again YouTubers. So this is a review on a product that there has been a lot of talk of here on YouTube and I own two of them and it is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powders from Hourglass and I have two different colors as I will show you here. I have Iridescent Strobe Light which is this one and I have Euphoric Strobe Light. Now Iridescent is a little bit more pink and Euphoric is a little bit more peach colored. I do today have on Euphoric so I will insert a clip here of how I apply these using this sponge, which is pretty cool. Um, it is different. It is definitely something that you have to play with and learn how to use. But once you do, it gives you a much more diffused look. I think some of the people that are having trouble with these are using a heavier hand with these and these are made simply to reflect light. Now Hourglass's description is they are designed to help sculpt the face with light, meaning using light on the planes of your face where you want it to hit. Typically things like your cheekbones, things like that. Some people use it on the bridge of their nose, forehead, top of their lip, chin. It depends on where you want that light. I personally tend to mostly just concentrate the light on the tops of my cheekbones. Um, it is a natural looking highlight. I will get a little bit more into that, my thoughts on that. Um, sheer base infused with ultra fine micro pearl particled without a metallic finish. You can use it wet for in the evening or dry for during the day. Um, the sculptor is $22. Um, you can use it wet or dry again for either of those, but what you want to do, I think this is the key part of it is a lot of people. And when I first got it, I thought this too, I thought you applied it with the flocked version, which is the bottom and you don't, you actually apply it with the top sponge, tap it on, and then you use the flocked portion to blend it out. And it really gives you a much more natural look than if you just apply it with a brush. Um, they say that they do not have a metallic finish and that they are natural looking highlight. Yes and no. It depends on the color. You have to find the right ones for your skin tone and you have to be very careful. The euphoric strobe one definitely has more of a glitter. I don't, I will have to insert some clips here. Uh, but it definitely, the euphoric has definitely much more of a glitter undertone to it and it has much more sparkle to it, but it is more of a neutral undertone. Now the iridescent strobe light is much more of a pink undertone, but it seems to be much finer milled and much more smooth as far as the glitter particles and the sheen and the reflective light you will see in it here. Uh, definitely makes a little bit of a difference. There are two other colors. Neither of them worked for me. One had a little bit more of, I believe it was a yellow undertone and one of it had much more glitter to it. It was much more similar to the euphoric, but it definitely had a lot more glitter to it. Um, I do think that if applied correctly, these can be beautiful. If you apply them with a brush, be sure to then go over it slightly afterwards with some sort of larger buffing brush because I think that's what really gives it that diffused, natural looking look. But again, if you want a more pronounced, pigmented, draw your eye to it type of highlighter, you can simply wet the sponge and get a more pigmented look of it. Same thing with the brush. You can either wet a brush or you can just use a brush and then not blend it out as much so. I just personally like the look of a much more blended, diffused type of highlighter. So let me give you my breakdown on this. Pigmentation on these, I think they are a good solid five out of five. They are very pigmented. You don't need a lot of it. It picks up easily on either a sponge or a brush and is very, very easy to work with. So pigmentation is five out of five. Texture, I think texture is a good four. They are very smooth. They are very creamy. They are very easy to work with. However, some of the ones that had a glitter, more of a glitter to it, reflective glitter, in my opinion, had a little bit more grit to them. So I'd say a four out of five. Longevity, I'd say it's a good four and a half out of five. It stays on well. It's definitely a nice diffused look of what I tend to do. And it looks like this by the end of the day too. It doesn't travel. It doesn't make me look oily. Again, if I use it somewhere like my forehead, it probably would make me look oily because I'm more combination skin tone. Um, but longevity is really great on it. Application, I would say applications of four because with a brush, you have to be careful and make sure you really diffuse it out afterwards. If you are using the sculptor sponge, it actually is the easiest way to do it. 
Again, not required, but it is a little bit easier. So applications of four, it takes a little bit to figure out the right way to work for you, but once you do, it's really nice. Packaging, I think the packaging's cute. It's a good typical packaging of Hourglass. I think they're nice. I like the fact that they sometimes do different colors so you know what you're grabbing, a blush versus a uh, ambient lighting powder versus a bronzer and so on and so forth. So packaging is a good four and a half out of five. Um, color selection, they have four colors. I'd say that's only a three and a half out of five. I feel like they could broaden the range, possibly to some darker tones as well. I find the ones they have are very light. Um, so you have to be very careful using those on darker skin tones price um like i said it's 38 dollars. i'd say that's about a four out of five it is going to last you the longest amount of time because you only need the smallest amount of this product to really make it work so 38 dollars is a good amount of money but it does last you a really long while so overall on these i think they're a good solid four out of five i think you get a nice product i think you can work with it with the right way you want it to go i like the fact that you can use it wet or dry um, I think, it, as I said, it is going to last you a really long while. I don't particularly like the fact that you have to buy something separate to make it work the best way. Um, again, you don't have to, but I find that I owned one before I got the sculptor and then I was kind of playing with it and I read the description and I was like, oh, okay, that's how you're supposed to use that because I just thought it was an overhyped beauty blender. And then I realized that the difference is, is this flocked base and just how you can really just kind of blend that out and make it look just absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you guys all help, found this review helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions and let's see here what I am wearing. I have on the Guerlain Less Ores Primer, the Becca Complete Coverage Foundation, the Tarte CC Corrector Urban Decay Naked Concealer under my eyes, Laura Mercier Translucent to set to everything with Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under the eyes. On my lids, I have Laura Mercier Buff Cream Eyeshadow or something, I think. Benefit Gimme Brow. I have on the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, the top right peach one with the bottom lower brown one mixed together in the crease with the Bare Minerals Top Shelf Duo, the lighter color on my lid. The, also the Kat Von D bottom right cream color on my brow bone, Marc Jacobs highlighter on my waterline, I have on Laura Mercier pan liner on my top lid, Chanel Le Volume de Chanel mascara, ooh that same bottom right Kat Von D brown color smudged onto my lower lash line slightly, um, Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette, use the bronzer in that. And then I used the peach blush on the bottom right, mixed a little bit with the middle one down there. Um, my lips is the Sephora Gel Lip Crayon or Lip Pencil in Nothing But Nude, Anastasia Pure Hollywood, and Buxom White Russian. Um, I have on my stackable rings here, my David Yerman ring, my cage cuff, the Sparkle Bangle, the Inspiration Bangle. Um, I have on the Aurora no, wait, arrow drop and a shirt that is from J. J. Crew. So that is every. Oh, hair was curled with a Babbles Pro one and a half inch. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.